So 3D printing has a lot of trouble printing parts like this that have a smooth dome that gradually changes over time. It ends up creating a lot of layer lines. And the reason for this is as you go up this part, the slope of the part changes so that as each new layer comes up, which is essentially a planar pixel, when you move up one area down here, it's just the layer height change that you can see visually. But when you move up the height up here on the top where the angle is very shallow, the edge of the layer not only moves up, but moves inward a good distance in order to follow the curve of the upper surface. This ends up making layer lines appear much more distinct at the top of a curved surface than on the sides, which is an undesirable appearance. So how can you fix this? Going through this video, we're gonna talk about a number of solutions of getting around this, and hopefully show you some ideas that you've never seen before. So the very first and most obvious solution is to increase the resolution. The layers are moving up and shifting in because that previous one was a 0.3 resolution. But if you take it down to a 0.1 resolution or even smaller, then the change in the curve is not so substantial that it's really noticeable, and you end up getting a much better surface finish along the top of the part. Now, this is okay, but it doesn't always do it perfectly. There's still kind of a transition point at the very tip of the part that isn't the greatest, and increasing the layer resolution is really expensive because it adds a lot of print time to the part and can add a lot more cost when you're trying to make tens of thousands of these in a mass production context. So changing the resolution isn't always the best idea, even though there's some ways to make sure that even though we increase the resolution from 0.3 down to 0.1, there are are ways to make sure that the print time isn't dramatically as increased as like 300%. It's just made about 50% slower than the traditional part. But that takes a lot of setup and requires much more confirmation, which you don't really want. The very best solution is to just make sure that there is not that upper surface. Design your part so that it can be printed on its side. So that rather than printing like this to where each layer goes up and eventually causes a stair step at the top, Design it so it can be printed on its side, that way each layer is exactly the same throughout the length of the part. This way you get a much more consistent surface finish, but it does require that you do things like put a chamfer on the bottom so that there are no steep overhangs, and design your part to make sure that everything else can allow it to be printed on its side. This isn't always viable for like the top lids of electrical enclosures and that kind of thing, unless you're really designing for what the process is. Now, another solution is to just get away from the smooth round curve as a whole. This might not be necessary if you're making a, an industrial piece of equipment or if you're really early in the industrial design process, you can get around having to use curves and instead use flat edges. Flat edges have a consistent slope the entire distance, so it's much easier to maintain a consistent surface finish. So something as simple as a triangle is a good example of this. Rather than having a smooth curve, just have a triangle or pyramidal shape. This way you have a consistent slope all the way up so that each layer line is exactly the same as the one below it, regardless of how high up in the dome you are. Now you can play around with this and if you have the capability, you can do multiple facets to where there's a consistent surface finish on each plane. Even though this plane has a more distinct layer surface, it's at least smooth and consistent. So you don't have like the top circle version where it just gradually becomes more distinct. This is very consistent and very defined. It it also enables better post-processing because it's like, ah, that surface just needs to be gone over in some kind of a way. But you can take this even further. If you don't want to have angles at all and instead want to kind of lean in to the layer lines and rather than trying to hide them, you can basically pixelate the part more. This is a really exaggerated example. You can make these steps as small as you want to, but by creating these stair steps on this part in order to create the dome and pixelating the part essentially, you no longer have layers moving in on each other. Every layer is vertically on top of the other and then you have these top surface layers, which means that you get a change in appearance from side to front of surface finish, but it's still very controllable. And again, you can take these down to as small as like one millimeter stair steps or even bigger, Basically. So this is one way of kind of changing the design paradigm in order to get the same functional interior volume without having to compromise the outer surface finish. But you do create a new type 
of kind of part aesthetic. So there might be applications where you can't really use this because it just doesn't fit with the brand of the product. And one last solution is to use digital noise. And we use this a lot of the time. It's where we input just a little bit of kind of rattle into the machine or apply a very subtle texture inside of CAD to where the part basically smears the outer layer lines and creates this almost pinned sort of look, which can be really useful because you end up getting this nice kind of roughened part that was never really possible to be created before, but you get rid of the layer line aesthetics as you're moving up the curve of the part. So hopefully that was helpful to you. These are just a number of solutions and ways to get around the issue of layer lines on the top of curves where they just become so distinct because you have this exceptionally subtle change in plane height that causes the layer lines to really become apparent. Comment down below if there's other topics that you'd like us to cover and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a bunch. Have a great day, everybody.